Okay, welcome everybody. This is the, the May 3rd meeting of the OpenJS Foundation. This is the public session. Um, so let's call the, this is Todd Moore, the chairman. Let's call the session to order. Great, thank you, Todd. Okay, um, as a reminder to everybody, we have the uh, OpenJS Foundation board directory here. Um, one of the changes from our last meeting is that we have uh, three interim community directors. We have Miles Borens, Tracy Hines, and Dave Methvin. Uh, this is a decision that had been made by the board um, to, to fill these seats in the interim uh, while we're waiting for the CPC to get bootstrapped. Our 2019 meeting schedule is now on the screen. Um, we tend to meet Fridays at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, this does change sometimes as it has for, for this particular week. Um, but in general, this is a schedule that we'll try to keep to. The agenda for today, the first thing is to approve the meeting minutes from the last public meeting. Um, then I will give an update on membership. Uh, we'll discuss the CPC charter uh, and moving that to stage three in the bootstrap repo. Uh, I can give a brief update on the event. And then uh, Miles and I will talk a little bit about the transition from Node.js Foundation and JS Foundation to OpenJS Foundation. Uh, and then we'll have a TSC update and a ComCom update. Does anybody have anything to add to the agenda? All right, hearing none, we will move on. Um, okay, so the first order of business is to approve, uh, sorry, that should be February 2019 uh, meeting minutes. Um, do we have a motion to approve the minutes? A motion to approve. Thank you, Todd. A second. Ended. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Any opposed? Any abstains? All right, motion carries. Okay, uh, the first thing, um, as everybody knows, we have uh, merged the organizations, the JSF and the Node.js Foundation, and we've had a number of JSF members join us, um, and we are working with the rest to, uh, to transition their membership over. So I'd like to welcome Accenture as a gold member, Browser Stack is silver, Cloud Gray is silver, Coil is silver, SitePen is silver, SourceGraph is silver, and XNSIO as a silver. For anybody who's watching this, uh, the link to become a member is openjsf.org slash join. And that's where you'd go to see the bylaws and to fill out the membership agreement. And if you have any questions on this, then uh, you can either email info at openjsf.org or membership at openjsf.org and we'll get that taken care of. Next on the agenda, we'll be discussing the CPC charter proposal. Um, this is something the board had addressed, uh, had discussed earlier and there was some discussion about some changes um, and some, some refinements to it. Miles, can you talk a little bit about where we are on the CPC charter proposal and, and what's been under discussion in the bootstrap committee? Yeah, so um, not a lot of charges, not a lot of changes to the charter itself. Um, this was brought at the last board meeting, and the request that we had had in the last board meeting was to introduce language uh, specifically around um, having the board involved when there are substantive changes to um, charters of projects within the foundation. So I believe that the new language that was added was specifically, and just bear with me for one second. Um, it was um, the adding of this, of this note, voting members are responsible for approving the charters and any updates for projects which are part of the OpenJS Foundation. Part of this review approval, the voting members will ensure that the updated charter is compatible with the mission of the OpenJS Foundation and reach consensus with the board on more substantial changes before final approval by CPC. <coughs> Excuse me, so that was the additional language that we added um, to ensure that um, it gave flexibility for small changes such as errata to, um, to charters, but also making sure that there's an expectation of checking with the board uh, for larger changes. 
I believe that that should, um, you know, appease the asks. Everything else in the charter the last time it was reviewed looked good, and there have been no other uh, changes other than the addition of that uh, language. Thank you, Miles. Board, do we have any questions for Miles about uh, the changes or the current status of the CPC charter? I would like to make a motion to approve the charter uh, to move to stage three. I'll second that. Great. Thank you. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? Any abstains? Hearing none, the motion carries. Miles, let's uh, go ahead and move that to stage three. Right on. Thank you. Okay. Next, I have an update on the event. Um, as uh, again, as many people know, we are planning Node Plus JS Interactive 2019. Uh, that will be in Montreal, December 10th to 12th. Uh, the current status of the event is that the board was just discussing some of the basic parameters around the event. Uh, the CPC will be open very soon, so please uh, begin preparing your project proposals. Uh, and we are also discussing, in the early stages of discussing, a 2020 event. Uh, at this point, we are you know, hoping to uh, continue to focus upon Canada uh, as the location, since that has um, been the, the favored location for the past two uh, I'd like to thank our very first gold and silver sponsors who have come through, Sentry and Linode. Um, anybody who is interested in sponsoring, please uh, follow the link that we have here, or you can get in touch at uh, info at openjsf.org, and we'll get you connected with the right people to get that process going. Okay, so a couple of updates on the transition. Um, when you have two reasonably good-sized organizations that are merging together, it it involves a fair amount of logistics, so I appreciate everybody's uh, patience as we go through this. Uh, we have the, the logos uh, are live on openjsf.org. Uh, the projects, the, the lists based upon where the projects have opted in uh, who are coming in from the, the JSF, that will be live shortly. Um, it's, I noticed some formatting issues that need to be fixed. Uh, but over the next few weeks, we'll have more site content to go live. It's going to move over from the various different sites uh, and be harmonized so that, you know, it's very clear that we're operating here as a, as a merged, uh, merged foundation. Um, the CPC is anticipated to begin operations after um, the Contributor Summit. And maybe, Miles, can you talk a little bit about what the planning is on that in terms of the bootstrapping? So. Um Tracy may actually know a little bit more about this or if uh, I don't think Jory is on the call. Um, I believe that the right now, as of May 1st, we have a full list of all of the voting members for all of the impact level projects. We've also identified all the nominees for the two um, voting membership rules that will be for um, the non-impact level projects. Um, and I think there's a timeline of about two weeks on that. Tracy, is that accurate? Yeah, no, that sounds right. Yeah, and we were able to get um, most of the nominations, I believe all the nominations in for the voting seats as of yesterday. So the next step after that, I believe, is um, you know just due diligence of following up with everyone, getting everyone's availability. Um, I think we would be um, spinning down the bootstrap call, turning it into a CPC call and figuring out the appropriate time for that call. Um, and then um, I think a, an inaugural meeting would likely happen probably close to the Collaborator Summit or potentially at the Collaborator Summit. Um, but I don't know if we have that little bit um, expli explicitly ironed out yet. Yeah, I think the idea was that we were going to try and get the CPC um, candidates together prior to the summit so that they could hit the ground running at the summit. There's just going to be a lot of conversations happening. Um, that everyone will want to be a part of and they'll have some time that they can hold away as well to get down to the nitty-gritty of the CPC work. Okay, great. Thank you both. Um, 
one of the other uh, things that has, that we've discussed in the CPC calls is getting um, you know, the various mailing lists and teams in place. Um, so uh, one of the things that we want to make sure that we have everything ready in terms of the moderation lists and, and things like that. So uh, this is all, you know, these are all things that we're working on uh, getting prepared before everything gets started. Uh, the last thing I bring, would like to bring up here is that we are in the process of uh, operational consolidation and streamlining some internal operations for the members of the combined organization. Uh, one of the other things that's a fairly uh, important topic that we'll be working on throughout the you know, early and middle parts of the summer is putting together a straightforward list of the technical and marketing services that are available to projects. Um, as anybody who's been involved in the C in the bootstrap process should know at this point, um, there are the, the various life cycle stages of projects. And with those uh, life cycle stages, there are certain expectations that projects will likely have in terms of, you know, what sort of marketing support they get and um, the technical services that are available. Uh, we want to make sure that this is as straightforward as possible and well-documented as possible, uh, particularly as projects consider coming in. Does anybody have any questions on this or anything else to add? Uh, I think there was a comment just from, I don't think that we've, um, and that was my fault, um, covered just mentioning, I think we mentioned it, was the Collab Summit. So, oh gosh. Um, yeah, sorry. I mean, I should have made sure that that was um, uh, covered on the agenda. So that was my fault. Okay, um, so the, please. Yeah, so for the Collab Summit, you know, it's gonna, the first one at least for, um, of the year is going to be in Berlin um, at the end of this month. Um, we still have uh, the agenda open for submissions for uh, topics that we want to cover while we're there. It is open, so it isn't just um, voting members of the projects um, under the OpenJS Foundation. We want folks to come in um, to understand um, what this new foundation means and all of the projects that need support um, and contributors. Um, and if you're interested in these particular projects, we already work on them. Um, we're excited to see people there, and that's coinciding alongside uh, JSConfU. JavaScripters will be in town for that. Excellent. Thank you, Tracy. Um, so uh, you mentioned that the agenda is still open. Where should we go to find that? Yeah, I was actually going to look to see whether we had that in the OpenJS Foundation or if we had that. Um, let me see if we still had it in a separate um, summit repo. So I believe it is in the OpenJS Foundation um, bootstrap repo referenced in a number of places. So if you go to the issues, you'll be able to find it. Okay. Yep. Great. Thank you, Tracy. Okay. Um, so let's move on. Um, so uh, maybe an update from the TSC. Um, Miles, is uh, anything anything going on in the TSC recently that uh, that we should talk about here? Nothing uh, extremely exciting. We have uh, nominated our two voting members. Matteo Colina will be representing the technical steering committee, and Giuseppe will be um, representing the community committee. We had a great launch of Node Twelve um, just last week, very successful, and we also end of life to Node Six. Um, we continue to move forward right now with me. I'm working on stability fixes for node 12, getting ready for LTS in October and, you know, already starting to work on node 13. Uh, outside of that, you know, the project is been, you know, continuing to do its thing. Um, but you know, nothing major to report at the moment. Great. Thank you. Any questions for miles on uh, TSC? Okay, so let's move on to the ComCom. Tracy, what's going on in the ComCom? Yeah, um, I think a lot of that work we've mentioned, which was <laughs> um, unfortunate, great, or fortunately, uh, already in this meeting. Uh, so yeah, a lot of um, attention focusing on uh, the Collab Summit coming up, uh, as well as um, the recent election of, of Joe Seppi to the, the CPCC for ComCom. Um, so congratulations to Joe. Uh, and um, we also have, I think, what, something interesting for folks to check out. Um, a lot of discussions in the ComCom sessions have been around our new outreach group. So 
Um, it's very early stage, but it's, um, I think, similar to the partner communities work that we've been looking at doing and needs a lot of documentation um, around how we can support uh, meetups around the world. Um, there's a lot of interesting work to, and they're looking for help. So you should check that out. Okay. Thank you, Tracy. Any questions for Tracy on uh, ComCom? Okay, that brings us to the end of our, well, almost to the end of our agenda. <laughs> the last thing to bring up here is that uh, the OpenJS Foundation is searching for an executive director. Uh, this news has been going out and we, we have a, a job description up on the website and uh, we encourage you to share this far and wide with anybody who would be a qualified candidate. Um, we are very interested in you know, evaluating a full slate. So if you're interested in being considered, please do submit your CV and your cover letter. Uh, if you would prefer to speak with a, a person uh, in advance, we have, we're working with a search firm called Vaco. And if you'd like that contact information, then uh, you can email info at openjsf.org. And we'll be happy to pass you on and connect you to the proper people. Uh, but anybody who, uh, who, who feels interested or compelled in this, this job or who would be very interested in doing it, please, we would like to hear from you. Um, we'd like to, uh, like to have a large, uh, large slate here to consider. And with that, that's the end of the business for today. Um, board members, do we have anything else to discuss that's not, uh, not on the agenda? So hearing nothing, then let's call the session of the OpenJS Foundation board to a close. Second. Very good. Thank you, everybody.